just got off the phone with the girl who loves you too Said you're working on yourself, is she helping with that too? You gave her the time of day You told her that you would stay You made me feel the same way What goes around comes around, that's what I always say up virgo and welcome to my channel i hope that all my beautiful and my handsome virgos out there are doing well all right you guys we're gonna get into this reading if anything resonates for you don't forget to like share subscribe and comment and if you're interested in a personal my email will be in the description box below all right you guys let's go okay you guys so we have the six of swords so you can be seeing the number 66 also, the day January 30th through February the 8th could be significant, so you want, might want to mark that shit. Okay, so the Six of Swords talks about someone who could be in a turbulent situation, okay? This could be a toxic situation, you know, but it's a, it's a situation where you got all these waves, okay? Up and down, emotions and feelings, very chaotic, very confused. And this could be someone that's being spiritually led to move to calmer waters, and you represent these calmer waters. Now, this could be someone that could be very guarded because this is someone who has been through a lot mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. But I feel like this is someone that's being spiritually guided to move forward and leave the past, okay, a past situation or a past person behind them, okay? Now, Virgo, you could have recently traveled by boat or been on a boat here as well. So what is the situation, Holy Spirit? Messages for my Virgos. What is the situation with this Six of Swords? Messages for my Virgos. What is the situation, Holy Spirit, with this Six of Swords? What is the situation? All right, so we got the Hermit. So this could be someone who was spending some time to themselves, okay, learning, growing. Or this could be someone that's refusing to spend some time to themselves, okay? This could be someone that's more like isolating themselves. They can be very lonely and they're very disconnected from others and their inner self. So this could be someone, if they were being spiritually led to walk away from a person or a situation, it's like they're not allowing themselves to feel. Like this is someone who I feel like they have to take some type of fast action, but it's like there's a lot of inner turmoil. And this is someone who's supposed to be going into hermit mode to reflect upon this situation in the past and finding their way, you know, out this dark situation and into the light. But it's like they're refusing to do that. It's like they're just choosing to isolate themselves and be by themselves right now, okay, versus healing and dealing with the situation at hand. So what happened in the recent past? Messages for my Virgos. What happened, Holy Spirit, in the recent past? Some of you could be dealing with another Virgo, or you could be dealing with an Aquarius here. A Virgo, this could be your energy. Maybe Spirit is trying to lead you to spend some time to yourself so that you can self-reflect upon the past and past situation or a situation that you can be involved in. Now, y'all take it how it resonates. So what happened in the recent past? All right, so we got the three of swords. So I feel like someone here was suffering from some type of heartache and pain, or this could have been someone that was refusing, you know, to acknowledge that they had been dealing with some type of heartache and pain, feeling lost, feeling abandoned, okay, being disappointed, dealing with heartache and pain. So this could be you, Virgo. I feel like some of you guys, maybe there's a situation there that you're being spiritually led to move away from, okay? And I feel like spirit could be wanting you to focus more on yourself. You know, on focus on healing, on, on on some type of emotional pain or heartache and pain that you've dealt with from your past here. This could have been cheating. Okay. Also with this three of um swords, it talks about, you know, maybe there was some um some cheating or lying or something going on. But I feel like spirit really wants someone here to focus more on healing. And this could be someone that's more focused on maybe relationships or, or love at the time. So what is the problem, Holy Spirit? Messages for my Virgos. I love you, Virgo. So what is the current problem in this situation? Messages for my Virgos. What is the current problem, Holy Spirit, in this situation? 
So we got the the world. I feel like some of you guys haven't been able to have this new beginning. It's like you've been wanting some type of new beginning in your life. This could be a new career, new job, new love, new location. Like you've been wanting some new things to take place in your life. But I feel like something has been always holding you back. And I feel like it's, it's you needed to heal. I feel like, like I said, y'all take it how it is now. I'm just reading the cards, especially with this hermit coming out. I feel like this Virgo energy coming out. This could be someone that you're dealing with. Maybe this is someone, like I said, that's being led to move away from a situation or you are. But I feel like whoever this is, this is someone who hasn't been able to move forward. It's like you can enter a relationship, but it's like it kind of always end up in the same situation. Like you're ne never able to go to, go to, the, what am I trying to say? You, you, it's like you're not able to have like a long lasting relationship or someone here is not able to have a long lasting relationship and it's because they refuse to heal here. I feel like there's always delays, obstacles that always occur. You know, it's like you and someone aren't always able to go to mile or go to go to distance. Thank you, Spirit. You're not able to go to distance in relationships because I feel like someone here is really needed to focus on healing. But I feel like someone here is neglecting that healing or they're ignoring it. They're being like, well, I'll just deal with the healing part later, you know. And it's like, no, nah, Spirit is saying you got to deal with this shit now. So what are the outside influences? Messages for my Virgos. What are the outside influences in this connection? The Queen of Wands, yeah. This is about you, Virgo. I feel like, Virgo, you always supposed to be in this Queen of Wands energy. Now, the Queen of Wands represents someone who's very independent, okay? So you could have been more in a codependent energy, you know? Someone who felt they always had to have, you know, a man or a woman or someone to feel their worth or to feel like, you know, they mean something or there's some type of meaning to their life. But you are always this outgoing, beautiful person, someone who commands the room, like all eyes be on you, like Tupac when you walk through. Someone that's the boss, okay, and someone who doesn't need anyone, okay, in their life. Someone who can stand on their own two feet, but you're very loyal you in love. And I feel like because of your loyalty, because you represent someone who's going to go to the extra mile, like you're always going to put in that worth, that time, that dedication to commit yourself to someone. I feel like the same energy, that's what spirit is wanting you to put into yourself so that you can step into this queen of wands energy. Someone that's able to create the lifestyle that they want. Okay, some of you guys, it wasn't even meant for you to work. You're supposed to have your own business doing big things. But it's like as long as you're in this energy of feeling like you have to have someone else to make you feel worthy or make you feel some type of way it's like you're not able going you're not able to step into this energy fully so what are the hopes and fears messages for my virgos i love you virgo like i said this could be you or it could be someone you're dealing with y'all take it how it resonates i'm just reading the cards here so what are the hopes and fears holy spirit Messages for my Virgos. What are the hopes and fears? Ace of Swords. I feel like some, someone here doesn't use the power of their mind. Like someone here, and they put their mind to it, like they can do it. It's like there is no stopping this person. You know, but it just talks about the power of your mind, your words, and your will. Being able to focus, have that determination, being able to think more logically, and cutting things out of your life. Yes. This is what spirit needs you to do, okay? I feel like maybe some of you fear or someone here fears that they cut things out of their life, okay, or, or you know, they deal with people in places that no longer serve them. Like, this is someone who who really, I feel like, is not used to standing on their own. You know, like, this is someone used to being, you know, a hard work and doing things, but it's like, when it comes to just being by themselves and being independent and standing on their own, they're not able to do that. And that's what you have to do to be able to stand or be able to step into this Queen of Wands energy. You can't be in a codependent energy because the Queen of Wands, baby, is somebody that's independent. They don't need no man or no woman to prove their worth. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like this is the reading about someone, like I say, either now. This could be going on. Someone is being led to move on from a toxic situation, relationship, whatever it is, to calmer waters. And once they do that, this is someone who needs to go through a process of healing. Heal from any heartache and pain, trauma, 
anything that they dealt with from their past. This could be childhood, relationships, but this is someone who has to isolate themselves, okay? This means that you disconnect from the world, basically. But you take time while you're doing it to focus on yourself, focus on your dreams and your goals, and you heal during this time. And this is what's keeping someone here from moving to the next phase and having that successful relationship and being married or having that successful relationship because someone here is refusing to heal from heartache and pain here. So what's going to be the outcome, Holy Spirit? Messages for my Virgos. I love you guys. And if anything is resonating for you, don't forget to like this video. So what is going to be the outcome, Holy Spirit? Messages for my Virgos. What is going to be the outcome of this situation? What is going to be the outcome, Holy Spirit? Nine of Swords here. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini here. It doesn't have to be. But this is someone who I feel like the situation is just going to become beyond stressful. Like someone here could be losing a lot of sleep, you know, thinking about this connection or thinking about a connection here. Some anxiety can be become more unbearable but i feel like in the future someone can be exiting out of this stress and this anxiety so this could be something someone here is experiencing now and in the future i feel like you will be exiting out of this energy okay this could be something that you're dealing with now and you soon will be exiting out of this energy okay all right so let's see the signs we had you guys we had aquarius gemini virgo we had leo taurus scorpio aquarius we had Libra, Pisces, Aquarius, and Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Lots of air energy. I feel like someone here does a lot of thinking. Like, they're very obsessed, either with a situation or someone from their past. Like, someone here is very in this obsessive energy. All right, Holy Spirit, who is this reading about? All right, you could be dealing with Taurus, heavy Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer. We have Scorpio, Virgo, Aries, Cancer. We also have Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, and Pisces. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.